So I told many of you that I'm uh, hiking the Inca Trail in May, and um, this is where I'm gonna be doing some of my training up here in these mountains. I'm also doing, uh, back in Fairfax, I'm doing hot Pilates, hot yoga, strength training, and uh, some, some cardio too. So I'm gonna be ready. So I'm at the uh, White Oak Creek Cedar Run Canyon hiking trail. And you'll see right here, there's a marker and if you go straight behind me, there are uh, a series of waterfalls that goes diagonally up the mountain. And then up this way, where we're gonna go for our training, it is uh, four miles straight up the mountain. It, it's uh, four miles and a change in elevation of 3,400 feet. So let's go. This whole trail is pretty much like this. Just stair steps that are going higher and higher. So Cedar Run follows this trout stream, uh, which is Cedar Run. The trail follows this trout stream all the way up the mountain. And uh, it's really beautiful. So if, if we went to the very end of this trail, it would take us to a place called Hawksville Gap, which is the highest elevation point in the Shenandoah National Park. I believe it's around 4,300 feet in elevation. Um, we're just going to try and get up a little bit and uh, we're going to try and find some good views to get on video. It looks like a nice sunny morning. The trail goes pretty much straight up like that the whole way. Breathing a little hard right now. Let's go. This is one of the waterfalls that uh, go through the mountain, and right down there, that pool where it where the waterfall ends is probably about eight to ten feet deep. This is no joke. This will definitely get your heart pumping, but it's worth it. From what I understand, the Inca Trail is somewhat like this in that they have stone steps going up very steep inclines, and that's exactly what this is. So people slide down this, uh, down this stone, it's like a slide, and they go into that pool. That pool is surprisingly deep. Sophie, go in the pool. We have another creek crossing here. We have a cross here, and you can see straight ahead is where the trail continues. Sophie. So, I um, made it 2.5 miles with an elevation change of about 1,700 feet. Um, right now, we're in an elevation of 2,670 feet, about 1,000 meters. And uh, now it's time to go back down the hill. So, we're finishing up uh, five miles. I feel pretty good. Um, over the... Over the fall, I'm gonna cycle it up and uh, do the full eight mile hike. And then what I wanna work up to is to do a uh, overnight hike that's 14 miles in a place called uh, Triple Ridge. So, feel good. 